there isn't much to be said about Brazilian-made revolvers besides the fact that they are much more affordable than their American-made counterparts. Most people I know only decided to buy a revolver made by Taurus or Rossi for any or all of the following reasons. One, they don't like any of the bargain basement revolvers being sold by Armscore. Two, they haven't heard of the EAA Windicator, which is dollar for dollar a better buy than any Taurus or Rossi 357 Magnum revolver I know. And three, they haven't heard of or have no intention of purchasing older Ruger Security 6 police trade-ins. Arm score revolvers are kind of meh, in my opinion, so I can understand if anyone would prefer a Taurus or a Rossi revolver over any wheel gun arm score is selling. But the EAA Windicator is a more durable revolver and is a great choice for a nightstand gun or a truck gun. And if you can find an old Ruger Security 6 police trade-in that is in mint condition, it'll probably be the best revolver deal anywhere in the country. That said, maybe you want a brand new 357 Magnum revolver and you don't like the EAA Windicator's aesthetics, or you want to try shooting big bore Magnum cartridges and you don't want to spend a fortune on any of Smith & Wesson's X-Frame series or Ruger's Super Red Hawk series. In this video, I'll talk about the best wheel guns Brazilian companies like Taurus and Rossi have to offer. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, they're owned by the same company. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 5, Rossi RP63. Rossi's legacy of firearm design and manufacturing dates back to the company's founding by Amadeo Rossi in Brazil in 1889. For over 131 years, Rossi has been making affordable guns for Brazilians. In 1997, Braztec International LC was established as the exclusive importer of Rossi firearms in North America, taking over from Interarms of Alexandria, Virginia. Rossi's classic rifles are still manufactured in a plant located in Sao Leopoldo, Brazil, where the company has continued to sell firearms to customers outside of the United States and North America. Despite these changes, Rossi remains a family-owned business to this day, with the same dedication to innovation and quality that has made them a respected name in the firearms industry. For Rossi, building guns is more than just a business. It's a reflection of the family's history and tradition. New for 2023, Rossi released two brand new revolvers, both chambered in 357 Magnum and both are made of stainless steel. Number 5 on this list is the RP63, which Rossi designed for both everyday carry and home defense. Like the majority of revolvers on the market, the RP63 is a DASA revolver. It has a rounded grip frame that minimizes visibility when holstered, making it a great choice for those who prefer an all-steel 357 Magnum revolver for concealed carry. It has a small frame with a barrel length of 3 inches, an overall length of 7.95 inches, an overall height of 5.20 inches, and an overall width of 1.46 inches. It weighs in at 27.3 ounces unloaded. Despite its compact size, the RP63 has a higher capacity than most revolvers on the market with a similar size holding up to 6 rounds in the cylinder instead of only 5. It uses an all-new match grade trigger and also comes with a rugged rubberized grip that provides a secure hold even in adverse conditions. The rear sight is fixed, while the ramped front sight is replaceable with a serrated blade that helps with sight acquisition for faster follow-up shots. It also has a 1 in 16.5 inch rifling twist, and its firing pin is mounted on the hammer, which guarantees reliable performance even with tough primers. For this reason, Rossi designed it with a hammer block safety to prevent accidental discharges. With an MSRP of $460.99, the RP63 is a viable option if you need a 357 Magnum revolver for concealed carry and you only have $500. It has one downside, which, considering what it was designed for, may not be that big of an issue. Its trigger guard undercut lets you shoot it with a comfortable high grip, allowing for better recoil control. But if you're going to shoot a box of full power 357 Magnum loads in it in rapid succession, the back of the trigger guard will hurt your middle finger. Number 4, Rossi RM66. I mentioned earlier that Rossi released two brand new revolvers, both chambered in 357 Magnum and both made of stainless steel. Number 4 on this list is the RM66, which, like all long barrel revolvers on the market, is a poor choice for concealed carry but can be a viable option for home defense, competitive shooting, and hunting up to medium sized game with the right loads. Like its smaller brother, the RM66 revolver is designed with a wide match grade trigger. Equipped with a 6-inch barrel, it has a red ramp front sight and a fully adjustable rear sight that lets you zero it in for whatever brand of ammo you like. It also holds 6 shots at 357 Magnum, while the full underlug barrel provides additional weight to help manage recoil. Additionally, the wraparound rubber grip helps cushion your hand during firing. 
It is made of stainless steel with a satin finish, has a checkerboard grip and adjustable sights, and unlike its smaller brother, it is built on Rossi's medium-sized frame. It measures 11.14 inches long overall, 5.47 inches tall, and 1.46 inches wide, and it has an unloaded weight of 34.4 ounces. Again, this gun wasn't built for concealed carry, but if you really want to, you can use a shoulder holster and wear a thick coat to carry it concealed. As far as rifling twist, the RM66 has the same 1 in 16 twist rate as the RP63, and its firing pin is also mounted on the hammer to minimize light primer strikes. It is a DASA revolver with a hammer block safety. Due to its size, it'll fit in most common holsters, and it will also use the same speed loaders for Smith & Wesson 6-shot K-frame revolvers. The RM66 has an MSRP of $620.99, which is rather steep for a budget wheel gun, but it's still a good price for such a highly versatile revolver. Number 3. Taurus Tracker 692 the Tracker 692 is a reliable choice for outdoor activities, target practice, or personal defense. With a budget-friendly MSRP of only $719.99, this revolver comes with two different cylinders, which makes it unique. This dual-cylinder design allows shooters to chamber and shoot 38 Special and 357 Magnum in one cylinder, and 9mm and 380 ACP in the other. However, since both the 9mm and 380 ACP lack a case rim that extends to the ejector star, spent cases must be removed one at a time, although Taurus does provide moon cliffs for easier loading and unloading. While many people prefer using the revolver as a 9mm due to its popularity, the 357 Magnum offers superior stopping power and versatility for those willing to master it. Dual cylinder double action revolvers were previously thought to be a solution to a non existent problem due to issues with fitting each crane and cylinder and preserving the barrel cylinder gap and timing, but Taurus has overcome these challenges in a unique manner. Rather than removing a screw in the frame to remove the cylinder, the Taurus 692 features a plunger on the right side of the frame that releases the cylinder, allowing for easy changes. Despite this unique design, each cylinder is properly timed and the barrel cylinder gap remains tight after swapping cylinders, with each cylinder marked for its caliber to avoid any confusion. The Tracker 692 also boasts a smooth trigger action in double action mode and a clean and crisp single action trigger pull. There are more than a few options as far as barrel lengths, but I would recommend going for the one that measures 6.5 inches long because like the Rossi RM66, it can be used for home defense, competitive shooting, and hunting up to medium-sized game. The Taurus 692 with a 6.5-inch barrel has a 1 in 10 twist rate and measures 11.64 inches long overall with a height of 5.66 inches and a width of 1.50 inches. It weighs in at 46 ounces unloaded, which makes it significantly heavier than the Rossi RM66. The Taurus 692's frame is made of alloy steel with a matte black finish, and its cylinder and barrel are also made of alloy steel with a matte black finish. Because of its frame-mounted firing pin, Taurus equipped it with a transfer bar safety. The front sight is fixed, and the rear sight is adjustable. It is built on the company's medium-sized frame, again like Smith & Wesson's K-frame revolvers, but its 7-shot cylinder makes it thick and heavy, great for target shooting and hunting deer using full-power 357 Magnum loads. Number 2. Taurus Raging Hunter 500 Maybe not a lot of people are aware of it, but a couple years after Smith & Wesson introduced their Model 500 X-frame revolver, Taurus released their Raging 500. There were rumors that it lacked the strength to handle the kinds of pressure generated by the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, so a year after it was released, the company discontinued its production. But who would have thought? The Brazilian company was thinking of building another extra-large frame revolver to chamber the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Certainly not me. This year, Taurus released two new chamberings for their Taurus Raging Hunter series of revolvers, one of which is the Raging Hunter 500, while the other is the Raging Hunter 460, which I'll talk more about later. The Raging Hunter 500 is available in 5, 6.75, and 8-inch barrel lengths and feature custom barrel ports that help reduce the recoil of the powerful 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, making it easier to handle for even the most inexperienced shooters. The unfluted cylinder increases weight, which also helps reduce felt recoil. One of the standout features of the Raging Hunter is the target barrel crown that enhances accuracy for precise ethical shots. The custom porting reduces felt recoil and muzzle flip, making follow-up shots faster and more accurate. Additionally, the top Picatinny rail allows for easy mounting of optics and accessories, while the cushioned grip provides maximum surface contact area for a comfortable and secure grip. 
The Raging Hunter 500 also features Taurus's double lock system, which keeps the cylinder secure when firing the heaviest of magnums. This system ensures that the cylinder stays in place and prevents it from coming loose during use. With an MSRP of $1,069.99, the Taurus Raging Hunter 500 is $500 more affordable than Smith & Wesson's Model 500 X-Frame Revolver. The version that sports an 8.37-inch barrel length has an overall length of 14.8 inches, an overall height of 6.60 inches, and an overall width of 1.90 inches. It weighs in at 67.5 ounces unloaded and has a twist rate of 1 in 18.75 inches. If you're looking to purchase the ultimate production revolver as far as power and versatility without breaking the bank, the Raging Hunter 500 is a worthy consideration. But, if it is the ultimate, why is it only number 2 on this list? Number 1. Taurus Raging Hunter 460 There's a consensus among handgun hunters that there is absolutely no practical reason to choose a revolver chambered in 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum over another chambered in 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. That's because while the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum can utilize heavier bullets, the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum is capable of much higher velocities, which means, as far as ballistics, they are similar, with the 500 maybe edging out the 460 ever so slightly. But the 460 has significantly less felt recoil. And the kicker? Any revolver chambered in 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum will also chamber 454 Casul, 45 Long Colt, and even 45 ACP if the cylinder is machined to accept moon clips. The Taurus Raging Hunter 460 Magnum is available in a couple of different barrel lengths. If you're looking to maximize the ballistic potential of its chambering, then you should go for the 10.5-inch barrel variant. It uses the Brazilian company's proprietary muzzle brake that is locked in place with a dual retention system to prevent rotation under heavy recoil, effectively taming the recoil of the most powerful 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum loads on the market. With the aforementioned muzzle brake, its long barrel, an aftermarket bipod attached to the bottom rail, and a good optic mounted on the top rail, the new Raging Hunter 460 can reach out to ranges handgun hunters can only dream of. It also includes a fiber optic front and rear sight for the rare times your optic might fail you. Like its bigger brother, the Raging Hunter 460 uses a double lock system to keep the cylinder secure when firing the heaviest magnum loads. It also has a capacity of 5 rounds and is built on the company's extra large frame. The version that sports a 10.5 inch barrel has a 1 in 20 inch twist rate, an overall length of 16.22 inches, an overall height of 6.40 inches, an overall width of 1.80 inches, and an unloaded weight of 71.26 ounces, which makes it the biggest, heaviest, and most versatile out of all the revolvers on this list. For such a fine Brazilian hunk of metal, the Raging Hunter 460 has an MSRP of $1,269.99. $500 more affordable than Smith & Wesson's 14-inch Model XVR Performance Center with a bipod. The Raging Hunter 460 isn't exactly the better buy, but hey, you clicked on this video's thumbnail because you wanted a Brazilian revolver, right?